Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you all and welcome to the channel. In this video, we will cover the method by which we can deduce a formula for a compound. But before we begin, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashraf al-anbiya wal mursaleen. Sayyiduna Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man tabi'ahum bi ihsanin ila yawm al-deen. Warda Allahumma anna ma'ahum ajma'een. Allahumma amin. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala alihi Muhammad. Kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala alihi Ibrahim. وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد. We begin in the name of Allah, the most merciful in this life and in the hereafter. We thank Him for all of His blessings that He has bestowed upon us, for they are innumerable. And we pray that we follow in the footsteps of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his fellow companions. Amen. We also ask for prayers and blessings to be bestowed upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his followers, as they were bestowed upon Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, and his followers. We will cover an example or two of how we can deduce a chemical formula for a compound. Here, for example, we have sulfuric acid, which is comprised of hydrogen and sulfate. How are we able to deduce the chemical formula of sulfuric acid? We must know the ions of the constituents. Otherwise, we will be unable to deduce the chemical formula. Hydrogen is plus one. And sulfate is minus two or 2 minus, however you wish to write it, both, both are used, though this is more commonly used. To deduce the chemical formula, we substitute the numbers or the valency of the charge. So we will bring the plus 1 as a subscript here, and the 2 without the charges, obviously, as a subscript here. So instead of this, I will actually use different colors. I will use red 2 here and 1 here. Since it is only 1, 1 is never written. But 2, yes. So the final formula for sulfuric acid will be H2SO4-1. It will be H2SO4-1. But the 1 is never written because it is multiplied by everything, so we do not need it. Then we lower this as a subscript, and we lower this as a subscript like so. And there, we have deduced correctly the formula, chemical formula for this compound, hydrogen sulfate or sulfuric acid. Let us cover another compound. Mm, how about iron 3 oxide, um, not oxide, sorry, sulfate. Iron 3 plus sulfate. And here we will place Fe. Oop, Fe. Ah, for goodness sake, man. There we go. And here we will have. Actually, I will copy this. Paste it here. And then delete this. Okay. Firstly, how do we know the ion for iron? Iron has two states, either iron 2 or iron 3. Normally, it is given in the name. 
at least at your level, at advanced levels, they will say either ferrous or ferric. This is iron 3, this is iron 2. Though at the level of this course, you may learn ferric and ferrous. I honestly do not know if they are teaching that at the level of this course. Personally, I, from what I have seen, they do not teach that. But if they teach it, you will still know how to differentiate between iron 3 and iron 2. So this means iron will have a valency of plus 3 or 3 plus. And obviously sulfate will be the same, like so. So how do we deduce the chemical formula for this compound? We will switch the 3 here as a subscript and switch the two here as a subscript. But I will change the colors to red. So here I will add two and here I will add three. So the final formula will be Fe2, Fe2, SO4, 2. However, you cannot have two subscripts clashing with one another. Oh, sorry, 3, not 2. This 3 represents the sulfate altogether. This 4 represents oxygen by itself. So we surround the sulfate like so. And then let us create the subscripts accordingly. Pull it downwards here. Pull it downwards here. And pull it downwards here. So this is the chemical formula for iron 3 sulfate. If you do not wish to th uh, think about the deduction through this approach, you can approach it in a different manner. How many hydrogen ions do I need to combine with sulfate ions so that the overall charge is zero? This is plus one and this is minus two. If I multiply this by two, then it is plus two. Minus two gives you zero. This is a different approach. You can either use calculation or the substitution methods to deduce the final chemical formula. Lastly, we will cover iron 2 sulfate this time instead of iron 3. And you will see why in just a moment. Oh yeah, baby. Okay, and then we will put this here. And we will put all of this here without the three. So what is the ion for iron? I do not know why I put this. It should be iron two, not iron three. There we go. What is the ion for iron in this example? Since it is 2, it will be plus 2, and it is plus because it is a metal. Metallic ions normally, or metallic atoms normally, lose electrons, so the charge is positive for them. If you wish to think about it in terms of substitution, the 2 will be placed here and the two will be placed here. But if you think about it arithmetically or mathematically, how many ions do we need to combine with sulfate to yield a negative, uh, to yield an overall charge of zero? Plus two 
minus 2 gives you 0 which means that we need one of this and one of this so what about these twos because they are the same number they cancel each other so the final result will be like so <clears throat> fe2 so4 2 but since it is the same number and they are of equal charges these two are automatically removed like that so we will have this as the only subscript and then we can push this further like so and that is how you deduce chemical formula or formulae for plural this entire playlist will culminate in the final episode which will be the next episode inshallah bi idhnillah and god willing where we will utilize uh, all of this knowledge to actually balance a chemical equation from beginning to end we can cover two or three examples and that will hopefully help you understand how to balance a chemical equation i hope this video was helpful and beneficial to you all enjoy the rest of your day everyone be safe take care and peace be upon you all wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد